Hello, and welcome to our Sunday Gospel reading, Reflection and Prayer for Pentecost Sunday. When the Holy Spirit was poured forth at Pentecost, Christ's Paschal mystery was brought to completion and the Church was fully equipped to carry on his redemptive work in the world. At Pentecost, it is revealed that we remain always intimately united to our Heavenly Father, who will shepherd his people home to the glory of heaven. On that day, the Holy Trinity is fully revealed. Since that day, the kingdom announced by Christ has been open to those who believe in him, in the humility of the flesh and in the faith. They already share in the communion of the Holy Trinity. By his coming, which never ceases, the Holy Spirit caused the world to enter into the last days, the time of the church, the kingdom already inherited, though not yet consummated. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Counselor comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, even the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me. And you also are my witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. On this Pentecost Sunday, we celebrate the day in which the Holy Spirit descended on the 120 persons gathered in the upper room together with Mary, the mother of Jesus, all devoting themselves to prayer. The Acts of the Apostles tells us that there was in the upper room a company of about 120 persons. And as St John Chrysostom affirms, all 120 persons received the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Pentecost is the fullness of God's gift to men, and there is a variety of gifts which God imparts to souls through the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit is not just a gift for the individual Christian. It is in the first place a gift for the Church as an institution to whom has been given the mission of proclaiming the Gospel of Christ to all nations. During the Last Supper, our Lord Jesus told the Apostles that he would send them another counsellor. When the counsellor comes, whom shall I send to you from the Father? Even the Spirit of Truth who proceeds from the Father. He will bear witness to me, and you also are witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Truth and confirms the Church in its mission of teaching and proclaiming the truth of Christ. While teaching a correct understanding of the message of Christ, the Holy Spirit also ensures that in the Church the same truth which the Apostles heard from the Master will be preserved intact for future generations. That truth which the Apostles heard from the Master will never be forgotten, but will always be kept and preserved by the Church. And while the Church will always persevere in the truth of the Gospel, each individual Christian must conform his or her life to this truth which saves and sanctifies. Let us ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to unite her prayer with ours as she unites them on this day to those of the apostles and disciples, and to obtain for us, as she did for them, an abundant outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
she lovingly submitted herself to the manifest will of God and proclaimed her fiat. Like Mary, may our love for God be manifest in the complete conformity of our will to his commands. The Holy Spirit manifests Christ to us, recalls his words, and opens our minds to the Paschal mystery. Rejoicing in the Spirit, we pray. That the Holy Spirit, who makes present the mystery of Christ, will reconcile all people and bring them into communion with God and his Church. That the Holy Spirit, the Father of the poor, will show his richness to all those in need. For those who have grown lukewarm in their faith, that the Holy Spirit will deepen and sanctify all our relationships, kindling the bond of love among us, reflecting the life of the Blessed Trinity. For the marginalised, the doubt-ridden, and those on the verge of despair, that the peace of the Spirit will bring them to new life. For the grace this week to live with the joy and peace bestowed on us by the Holy Spirit. We bring all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea. O Mary, Star of the Sea, Light of every ocean, Guide seafarers across all dark and stormy seas, that they may reach the haven of peace and light prepared in him who calmed the sea. As we set forth upon the oceans of the world and cross the deserts of our time, show us, O Mary, the fruit of your womb, for without your Son we are lost. Pray that we will never fail on life's journey, that in heart and mind, in word and deed, in days of turmoil, and in days of calm, we will always look to Christ and say, Who is this that even wind and sea obey him? Amen. Loving Father, bless us with the sevenfold gifts of your Holy Spirit. Let our lives manifest all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Yeah.